Hello and welcome to Blog Sprout. I'm LJ and today I'm going to show you the five things that you must have before you monetize with your ads. So I personally love to monetize with ads. I have about 75% of my income coming from ads and the other 25% coming from affiliate marketing. And why I love ads is that all I have to do is focus on writing high quality content, informational content that's going to drive traffic to my site. And then once I have that traffic, every single one of those visitors is bringing in money because of the ads that are placed on my site. So before you can do this, what, what do you need? The first thing you need is with any website to start is a hosting plan. So hosting is where your website is going to live. Um, I recommend starting with a shared hosting plan. So this means that your website is going to live on a shared server and this is great to start because it's super cheap. I have a hostinger plan that I got for four years for $120 and that was it. Um, I do plan to upgrade in the future because the downside of shared hosting is that you're sharing your resources with a bunch of other websites. So as your site begins to grow, you're going to need more dedicated resources so that your site and your server can uh, accommodate the demand of all your traffic. What else do you need? A domain. So I recommend having a .com domain. I just think it looks more official, but there are other options that many successful websites have, um, such as .nets or .online. But if you can, getting a .com is definitely the way to go. You can get a new or expired domain. I personally have only dealt with new domains, but there's a lot of discussion about using expired domains. And what expired domains do is that you're, you're buying a domain that has previously established itself um, kind of in your, in your niche or whatever you select. So there are already backlinks that go to your domain. There's already some form of authority with that domain if you buy it expired. And the downside to this is that it's a much larger upfront cost. Um, but there are some good studies that show that you can grow and earn significantly more traffic earlier than if you were to start a new domain. And one of the main suppliers of expired domains is Otis. Um, so if you're interested, you can go check out their website. What else do you need? A theme. So I recommend you getting a paid theme. Um, paid themes typically are, are just overall better. They're usually faster. They have more features than some of the free themes. You can go with a free theme, but paid themes typically require you to add significantly less plugins. So what essentially a plugin does is add a feature that your theme doesn't have. So when you're selecting your theme, you want to think about what type of features you want on your site. So I personally wanted to um, have very nice layout for affiliate products specifically and I found that through this rehub theme which is listed up here. So it was about $60. They do have um, discounts every once in a while and I think I got my second license for about $40. You get free six months of support from the developer and they've been very good with and up to date with all of their updates. There are a bunch of other um, themes that you can buy on themeforest.net, which is the Envato market for themes. There are also other places and individual sellers of themes that you can look for, but this is just what I have personally used. The other thing you want to look at is how many people have bought the theme, when the last update was, and whether or not the developer seems to be active. There's a lot of control that your theme has and if your developer has only created a theme once and let it sit, that's not the kind of theme you want to buy because it'll no longer stay up to date and, and improve over time. So that's why I like the Rehub. This developer has been very, very good and very responsive with their support. The other thing you need is content. So ad networks such as Azoic will review your site and approve you if they think that you are a legitimate website. 
nobody's going to really take you seriously if you don't have any content on your website. So I recommend you at least have 10 to 20 articles posted and live on your website. You've gone through the content structure, so you've created main menus and you have general categories, um, which also includes breadcrumbs. You've also activated schema for particular posts. You've added a privacy policy and disclosure, and you have your about and contact pages. So what all these things do is tell the ad networks that you are serious and you are legitimate. Um, so the plugin that I use to help with my schema and my SEO, which I will have a video on later um, as a review is Rank Math. I think it's very easy to follow and it really helps me optimize my content for SEO. And the last thing that you really should take a look into before you monetize is page speed. Adding ads, no matter which network you use, is going to slow down your site. So if you have a general idea of how to improve your site speed before you add ads, I think that's really, really valuable. So what you can see um, in this top left here is my current Core Web Vital assessment of my major site. And this is on the, the mobile. So if you're familiar with the overall page speed, um, numerical rating it's about an 83 or 86 so it's not too bad um, but it's saying my core web vitals pass and google recently had an update where you need to take into account these core web vitals because they are going to impact um, your ranking on google so what this entails is really the two main things you have to understand for page speed are image optimization and general code optimization. So it took me a few months to kind of understand WordPress, understand page speed, um, and I eventually will will post some more information on how to um, how to optimize your page speed. But to start, I recommend um, adding the Smush plugin. What that does is it compresses your images and allows them to lazy load so that they are not um, slowing down your core web vitals. And then this, there's this other plugin that I use called WP Converter. And what this actually does is convert like JPEG um, images to this format called WebP, which seems to be helping out my site and it, it makes them load a lot faster. And then for code optimization, it gets really difficult because a lot of that comes from the theme and there are just things in my theme that I cannot change. And when I go to my page speeds ins insights, there are just these large JavaScript codes from my theme that are s slowing it down and I can't do anything because I'm not, um, I'm not a computer scientist and I don't really know how to go into that code. So I'm kind of leaving that up to my um, theme developer, but I do have in this bottom part of the, s the slide is this asset cleanup page. And I think this is a great plugin. What this allows you to do is select the type of Java JavaScript and CSS files that load on a particular page so that if you know you're not using a certain plugin on a given page, you can prevent it from loading. And that has had a great impact on improving my page speed. So again, the five things, the five, five main things on the checklist that you must have before you monetize are hosting, a domain, a theme, some content, and a relatively optimized speed. So are you ready to monetize? If you think you've had all these five things, I recommend you signing up for the Exoic Access Now program. There's no minimum traffic to sign up. That's how I started with my sites. What their program does is um, provide AI ad testing for different sizes and placements to optimize the user experience as well as um, your income. What it allows you to do as well is still earn through Google AdSense mediation, but by adding AdSense into a Zoic, you now have a more competitive um, network. I found that their customer service has been excellent. Um, they are very responsive and very helpful, and many of them are content publishers themselves, so they're also quite knowledgeable in the space. Um, 
If you're also new, you can sign up for Google AdSense, which even if you're using Azoic, you should do. Um, so you can do that mediation, but that also has no minimum traffic. They do have a, a slight um, review process where um, they'll look over your site, but you can just set up complete auto ads or specifically assign where you want your ad placements and what size. That also can be done in Azoic, but Azoic has a very nice AI system that can do this for you. So thank you so much for sticking through this. Um, I'm LJ from Blogsprout. If you're ready to monetize, I highly suggest that you sign up for Azoic. Um, I have zero complaints of them so far. They've been so friendly, so helpful, and I'm doing very well with my monetization, so I have no complaints. But if you liked this video, either hit the like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want um, because I'm here to help you and I'm going to continue to share what I'm learning along my journey into this online business world. So thanks. See you later.